Whoa, what happened to the 10 minute videos that TikTok was allowing? <clears throat> so this video, I guess I only got three minutes to talk then. So with this video, I wanted to talk about how people blame the victim with bullying. You know, whether it be bullying or gang stalking, it seems like as if you're defending and agreeing with the bully, even if it's going to school or, um, you know, people want to say ignore bullies, ignore gang stalkers, you know, any ignore harassment. But I don't know why they give this false idea that, you know, if you ignore them, then eventually they'll go away. But in my personal experiences, I've been bullied all my life, abused all my life, harassed all my life. And if I try to ignore bullies and try to tune them out, they strengthen their tactics. Excuse me. They strengthen their tactics. They don't go they don't back off and leave me alone and go away. They strengthen their tactics until or unless a so-called authority figure and even even then, like teachers from school, people growing up or whatever, college professors at work with the job or anything. I really hate it when people say that. Oh, I'm not saying that you deserve it, but if you don't ignore them, then they're going to keep on harassing you. Some of them have told me straight up that I deserve increased harassment as punishment for not ignoring. You know, with the gang stalking tactics and regular bullying, growing up all my life, I've heard you know, and it made me feel like you trying to punish me even more and do victim blaming. Like as if it's my fault that I'm a bad person or it's my fault that, oh, you should ignore them. So that's what you get rather than they. And I've gotten punished by teachers for, quote unquote, not ignoring the bullies, you know, not being able to because I'm disabled and hypersensitive. Everything It's difficult to ignore when. Noise hurts your ears and you can pass for having um, Asperger's or autism. Well, my time is just about up and I wish I had longer to talk.